How's it going YouTube? Pokemon Hatch here, back with another video, and this is one of my favorite videos to make. Hopefully, if everything turns out okay, as you can kind of see by these boxes, um, we do have PSA returns. So we're gonna be opening up these. I haven't checked the grades online. Um, so let me actually, I think my name is on here and everything. So we're gonna, we're gonna get these out, stack them, and then go through all the grades. Most of this stuff, I believe it's a lot of like, um, basically hidden fates, tons of hidden fates, tons of first edition hollows. I don't exactly know which order these are going to be in. So we're just going to kind of go through it. Um, it was a big order of about a hundred some. So probably do this in a couple videos, but let's go ahead and go through these and see what we got. So we're going to cover each of them. So, okay, here's Raquaza from, starting off with a bang, here Raquaza from Hidden Fates. This is the promo version. And I submitted, I think, like three or four of these. Let's hope they get a 10. All right, Gem Mint 10, right off the bat, sweet. Just what I like to see. Um, I'm going to probably be listing any doubles that I have on my eBay store. But um, I definitely want one for my collection. So we got a second one here, looks like. Hopefully it's another 10. So I was trying to pick out um, some of these. Basically, I didn't open up a box of the Rayquaza. It wasn't uh, perfectly centered. So we got another Gem Mint 10. Awesome. Perfect. Okay, great. Set that over here. So, and again, another Rayquaza. Another Gem Mint 10. Awesome. Very nice. I was kind of worried about some of these. The centering just seemed off just a little bit, but I think PSA has like the 60-40 uh, roll, which basically as long as it's, it doesn't have to be completely 50-50 to, to come back a 10. So, okay, now we got Lunala from uh, Hidden Fates. Um, this is from the, uh, the same set that the Rayquaza is from the premium collection box, and that's a gem in 10, most nice. Awesome. Okay. I think I did submit a couple of these as well. So I'm really quick with the finger there. Try to get that. So let's see if we got, we got another gem in 10. Awesome. Oh, we are off to just an amazing start with these. Okay. To Tapu Lele, uh, from Hidden Fates. Took me a long time to pull all of these gold cards, but I finally ended up pulling at least one of each. And I think I ended up pulling like three Tapu Lele. So let's hope this is, looks like, nope, it's going to be a mint nine, unfortunately. Okay, well, it had to happen sooner or later. I wonder what the problem was with it. Maybe the centering a little bit? Could be. So, okay, we'll set you over there in the nines. Then we got another Tapu Lele. That one's a gem mint ten. Awesome. Sweet. All right, we're probably going to maybe run out of little holders back here, but kind of like putting in the holders as, as opposed to on the wall. Um, so let's see, what do we got? Okay, so the Tapu Koku. So my plan here is like, I want to try to get at least a gem mint 10 of every one in the shiny vault, and then kind of anything extra I'll probably put on my eBay store. So we got, wow, gem mint 10 again. Awesome. Whew. Wow. Great start so far. One PSA nine. Okay, Tapu Finny. Gem in 10. All right. I'm sensing a theme here, and this is a good theme so far. Awesome. Okay. So, yeah, as I said, I submitted like 100-some cards, Tapu Bulu. So let's see if we can make it for PSA 10. Gem in. And it is PSA 10, Gem in, Tapu Bulu. Awesome. So that completes the four uh, Island Guardians, I guess they would be called. Um, so that, that, that's good. So I'm super happy about that. I don't have to get any more of those. Okay. These I got, um, from a local, uh, there's a video probably a couple months past where, uh, somebody on, I believe it was Facebook marketplace or something like that posted a bunch of, um, Pokemon cards and a bunch of shadows ended up being in there. I don't think these are going to grade probably more about mid tier grades, you know, probably like, 
Sixers are, I hope for seven. Sevens would be perfect with a lot of these, as you can kind of see the, um, does have some edge wear on most of these. I think I had this, a Gyarados, uh, a couple others. So, okay, yeah, excellent mint six. That was kind of a, about expected. So, not bad, though. About what I expected. Here's a Gyarados, Shadowless. Probably still probably about a six or seven. Seven, okay, cool. Yeah, as I said, anything like seven uh, and above is just an absolute win. So we got Hitmonchan, Shadowless, a six. And next we got Hitmonchan again. Come on, at least give us a seven. Seven, okay, cool. Yeah, with some of this vintage stuff, I'm kind of happy with anything seven and above, depending upon what it is. Ooh, okay, this is a big one. I got this on eBay. Um, this has just gone up exponentially, just absolutely crazy. I think the, um, I think I got this. The guy listed it at near mint. Um, I noticed it does have some a little bit of edge where I believe. Yeah, you can kind of see it up there. I don't know how good the camera is. But um, I was hoping it would get a nine. Eight would have been fine. I think I paid a little over 100 for this. But um, I didn't see very minor scratches at all, if anything, on the uh, hollow. Um, not very many, uh, not even really like the print lines or anything. So come on, eight or nine I'll be happy with. Eight, okay. All right, not bad. I'll take that. I was kind of hoping for a nine, but eight's fine. Definitely something to add to the collection. The um, PSA 10s for this are just stupid expensive. The 9s even are like 400 bucks. So if I would have got a 9, I would have been super happy. But uh, that still is pretty good. I'm actually going to... that Actually, I'm sorry. That deserves one of those. But maybe we'll be moving those later. All right. What do we got next? Oh, ho oh, oh. uh, Neo Revelation. Uh, bought this. On eBay, saw this come up. I think it was about a hundred bucks, somewhere around there. Looked good in the pictures and everything. When I got it, it just looked in phenomenal condition. Um, I don't think it would get the PSA 10. There is a little white dot right there in the corner. Uh, so just hoping for an eight or a nine at least. Let's see. All right, mint nine. Awesome. Okay, super happy about that. That's definitely going to go in the collection. All right, so looks like we've got some Yu-Gi-Oh cards here, which we're going to save for now. Um, actually, you know what? I'll just go over them now. Why not? Uh, just mix it up a little bit. We got, this is Wing Dragon of Raw from the Battle Pack. Um, I'm trying to get each, I love the, I, I absolutely love the Egyptian gods. I don't really collect much else, but this is first edition Battle Pack Wing Dragon of Raw from the War of Giants. Hoping for Gem Mint 10. Ah, it's going to be a seven. Wow. That's really got, what is wrong with it? See, I don't know about Yu-Gi-Oh cards. They kind of have the, like this off color around the edges. So it's kind of hard to tell, but okay. Well, seven, we'll just have to live with that. And then we got, okay, Slide for the Sky Dragon, also for more of Giants, first edition. Oh, I can already see it, Gem Mint 10, sweet. All right, so what is the difference between these two? That's what I would like to know. It must be some scratches on the hollow or something. I don't know what it is, but hey, I'll take a Gem Mint 10. That's awesome. So that finishes that. Oh, this right here is going to make me nervous. All right, this is the 2003. This is the promo Game Boy Advance, the silver edition. This is the really rare edition. I bought these on eBay. The, the, the whole set came up on eBay an auction for each one of them. I believe I got them. It's like 60, 70 bucks about a piece. I didn't win the, uh, I didn't win Slifer, but I won the other two. And these things were advertised as mint. And I just felt like they were amazing condition. I don't really know how to grade Yu-Gi-Oh. I can usually tell with Pokemon cards, but Yu-Gi-Oh is in and of itself. So I'd be happy with a nine, but super ecstatic with a 10 here. Looks like, oh, wow, Gem Mint 10. No way. Oh, my gosh. That's awesome. And I honestly was kind of worried about this a little bit because there's so many fakes of these out there. It's absolutely ridiculous the amount of fakes that are out there for um, these uh, Game Boy car, um, those, uh, those Game Boy um, 
cards. Uh, so I was kind of afraid, you know, the, the auction was a Hong Kong, the Senate. So I was like, as me, as soon as I got them, I was sending every, everything away to PSA. So they came back as fakes or something like that. I could return them and get my money back. So next we got Obelisk the Tormentor. This is also from Game Boy Advance. Hoping for a 10. Come on. Ah, oh, mint nine. Ah, oh, what is the issue with this? I have to say that's a little disappointing just because, I mean, I'm super happy even about the 9, but just because I got the Gem Mint 10 and now this one's a 9, I kind of, um, so, okay. Well, I'll have to hunt that down, but that's still still not a bad deal there. So, all right, let's get into more Pokemon. All right, so we got Reshiram from Hidden Fates. That's a Gem Mint 10. All right, very nice. I'm going to probably run out of room here. So going forward, I probably, unless it's something really big, I'm going to save. I, I did submit one of my shiny Charizards, so I'll save that for the very end. Then we got Gardevoir from Hidden Face, Gem in 10, another one. Awesome. We got Umbreon from Hidden Face, shiny, Gem in 10. And I kind of saw that one, another Gem in 10. That's great. All right, so let me separate these and what is going to go in my collection and what I will list most likely on eBay. Another Umbreon from Hidden Fates. Mint 9. Oof. That hurts. Just a little bit. I think it's a little off-center, though. I can kind of see that now. But uh, we'll go ahead and put you over here in the 9 pile. Oops. As I, as I start tearing stuff up over here. All right. Another Umbreon. Jeez, I submitted a lot of these. Okay. Gem Mint 10. Sweet. That's great. Set you back there. Glaceon. Yeah, as you can see, I did kind of submit a lot of the um, a lot of the evolutions. So that's a gem in 10. Awesome. Glaceon again. Gem in 10. Glaceon again. Gem in 10. Awesome. All right, Lucario. Need a gem in 10 of this to um, for the set. Gem in 10, awesome. Cario again, Gem in 10. Wow, it's just incredible to me how good that they made some of this Hidden Fates. I, sh I shouldn't say that because then I'll start getting nines, but whoa, another Gem in 10, Lucario. Articuno, as you can kind of see a theme, I, I do love the legendaries. Gem in 10, all right. I believe I submitted about five of these, so these might be the end of the video. Gem in 10, Articuno. Another one, Gem in 10. Gem in 10, all right. Look, oop, and I saw that, that's Dark Cry. So there's another one off our list. I was kind of worried about this one just a little bit because I thought, I thought it was just a little bit off center, but I think it's good enough to where it passed, just barely. So, all right, another Dark Cry, Gem in 10. Then we have another Rayquaza from the Premium Collection, Gem Mint 10. And I keep hitting this, but oh well. All right. Another Rayquaza, Premium Collection, Gem Mint 10. So I think we went five for five on this. Wow. That's, a, that's crazy good. So everything was Gem Mint 10 except a we got a Tapu Lele and an Umbreon. And, of course, the Vintage stuff. And then the um, Wing Dragon of Ra. Slifer was a 10. Wow, that's crazy. We only had, of the newer stuff, only four out of all that was Gem in 10. And I was expecting the vintage stuff to be a little bit um, around there. So it was pretty spot on. So cool. Um, well, thanks for watching. Uh, it was really fun. To, I actually uh, submitted these on my own. I went ahead and got a silver membership. Since I was submitting over 100, um, it really made sense. You pay like something like $59.99 to get a silver membership for PSA. And then for bulk submissions over 100, it's like eight, I think it's up to 850 now through their quarterly sales. Right now though, Pokemon cards, it doesn't have a quarterly sale, so you have to submit it under the bulk rate. Um, I submitted these in like early December and just got them back in mid January. So it was like 30 day turnaround time. I don't know how that happened. Um, I did do two other submissions of cards that are pretty high dollar. Um, the shiny Charizard, and I believe one other. I can't recall what it is. So we'll have to see. Maybe that had something to do with it because you had to pay a little bit extra. 
and then the turnaround time was like 25 days, so maybe that had something to do with it. But I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, really happy with this um, a return. I uh, should have two more videos coming up with some of the other items. I just couldn't fit everything in one video. So thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and have a great day.